Can you get the shot and all? <clears throat> all right, Steve. I'll give you. I'll buy you the next. Um, I'll buy you the next coffee buzz if you can tell me when uh, historically I wore this shirt with you when we were trip down to your parents' Tampa on the beach. Unbelievable shot. <laughs> it was an unbelievable shot. I mean, come on. It was in our early days of social media. Yeah, <clears throat> that's back when days. we were posting for all the wrong reasons. That's right. That's right. <laughs> but I was uh, I was putting away my clothes this morning. I had a nice little morning. Although the sun hasn't been out, I was talking about it. Yeah. I made a strong prediction a couple days ago that spring is here, and I'm sticking by it. Well, you have to. So I'm going, sure, I'm going, I'm freezing. <laughs> I am a cold human That right should now. be your bit. I'm, Only wear, like, Hawaiian shirts and stuff for the next month. For the Please. next month. Yeah. Just straight Hawaiian. I'm going to the, you guys know I don't wear shoes really in the summer ever. I'm going to go, I'm going to go no shoe in the, in the snow. I'll do it with you too because I, I don't have any dress clothes. Yeah. Like zero. Like I'm talking about I have mash clothes. I have t shirts from tournaments I used to play in. Yep. And then I got about three Hawaiian shirts. And we were going to Rufus Rufus the other day. Yeah. I came out with my uh Tommy Bahama shirt on and I got sent right back upstairs. <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh, yeah. You ain't wearing So you that. were gonna go, go like that? You were gonna go with that on? Oh yeah. Kelsey sent me right back upstairs, said nope. I said that's fair. <laughs> I knew it was coming when I walked downstairs with it on. That's funny. That is funny. <laughs> Mario, is that outlet mall? Your on? mic doesn't work. <clears throat> it's on? It's not sounding like it's on. Did it sound like it was on? You know, for a tech guy to confidently say it's on when we have headphones on, that seems interesting, doesn't this it, This guy's got the biggest bit going on. He's a tech guy I've ever met, <laughs> yeah. ever seen. Unbelievable. He keeps showing seen. up, and then you go, hey, the mic's off. And he goes, no, no, no it's fine. <laughs> the tech guy. <laughs> All right, now run back over there and start try to say hello. Scurry, scurry, scurry over there. Come on, Otter. Is he still in good? Better. Oh, much better. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Better. Are. are you still good? Uh, good energy today. Good energy. Sun's We're down. I'm through the to... cloudy. Yeah, the cloudy weather. I'm telling you, it is. Do you have fish oil here, by the way? I need some fish oil after this. Yeah, whatever you need. I right, appreciate that. <laughs> Let's let it rip, Nolt. All right, this this one's from Danny File. Oh, we're still doing this. We got a couple that. more. We got that. a couple we more. Got a couple Let's more. keep them coming in. Guys, we might have a shot at this. Come on, keep them coming in. I had a dream last night that we had a really well known podcast. That'd be tight. Yeah. Well, we're still getting questions. <laughs> it's a start. <laughs> it's a start. Hey, welcome to spring. Go ahead, Danny File. Is there a difference between feeling and emotion? Is there a difference between feeling and emotion? Jeez, that's a deep one. I mean, well, I'm feeling, I'm feeling your, I'm feeling you right now. Well, I think it has to be. I mean, it's, it's. I think it sucks to answer without him here because we would, we're, I can't, we can't see it from the way that he asked it. You know. Here's how I interpret it, and mm -hmm. I'll go off what you were just saying about Nolan. I can feel Nolan's energy, but the emotions that that gives me are two separate things. My emotions comes from the feeling that somebody gives me. <clears throat> Does that make sense? So if you come in and you're coming in hot, what's up, Steve A? Mm -hmm. I go, oh, well, hey, Mart. And mm -hmm. now my emotion is happy. Your emotion or your feeling? My feeling was, well, okay, I feel your energy. And now my emotion is to be happy based on the feeling that I got off of you. That's how I separate the words feeling and emotions. The emotion is the choice that you have to the feeling that you've been given. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I look at it as, I actually just wrote about this the other day, about coming in and uh, feeling energy, how you feel people's energy. And that was basically the reason why I wrote about it or talked about it was about how before we could speak, it was all off of energy. So we had to navigate the Neanderthals, if you will. They had to hunt together off of pure feeling of energy. So could I trust your energy enough to go into a hunt with you or build a shelter with you? Mm. And so, yeah, so there was no, there was no communication. So we couldn't sit there and really dive through it. We couldn't necessarily manipulate people through words, those sort of things. It was all off feel, which is why I think that that's still very relevant today because it's just innate. It's in our body and our system to feel people's energy. So you feel that when you come into the room. Oh, yeah. Right? Like uh, like I felt a little low coming in today. Yep. I think we all kind of felt it, but we shared some good jokes, get us going. I had a brownie midday. I'm just going to fill that into some sugar. 
it's just some immediate sugar. You'll and get a great workout yeah, in later. Get, that's what that's I was thinking. That's it. exactly how I was looking at it. Yeah. <laughs> so, but so I would look at it as emotion would be first, feeling would be second, and an emotion uh-huh. would be a byproduct of of thinking. So you would have, uh, you know, this is how I always kind of think of it as I'm thinking through my head as I'm thinking about this. The but, beauty is you can't be wrong. Yeah. So I'm, answer. I think about it as if you have a thought that happens right away, right? And you're not aware of it or you are aware of it. Let's say you're not aware of it. So you have a thought that's a negative, And then over the course of a day, you maybe gathered that right away in the morning. And uh, that turned into a negative emotion. So now you have a bad attitude, which would be a feeling. And now I would be able to see that on your body. So I'd be able to start feeling your emotions. And I would kind of put it in that, that, er, that uh, category, or not category, that step process. And that's what I essentially would a mood would be. So over the course of a few days, you're in a mood, you know, and then I think we've talked about this on the podcast back in the day, but that would be like the negative of if you have a mood for too long, it's going to turn into a personality. And mm-hmm. then all of a sudden you're just a, now all of a sudden you're just an asshole with shitty emotions and bad feelings. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> what I would say is within those feelings or emotions, however you define it, uh, something that's worked out well for me is just addressing them out loud. Yeah, I'm serious. It. So Some you're people trying to cut it. You're trying to it. cut it I'll right go, away. Yeah. So it doesn't turn into a mood or, or a trait. And I do it with everyone all the time. I'll go, I, I suck today. I suck today. I'm basically asking for help, right? Because I'm going, I recognize this. I don't want to feel this way anymore. Let's get out of this together. We're in the maze. You got to deal with me. I'm going to be around you. Help me get out of here. That's been a really helpful tool. Help, help, help. Yeah, or just telling people, you know, sometimes you're like, you suck right now. Stop it, you know? Yeah. I was looking at Mark when I said that, so he gave me a little <clears throat> yeah, eye shutter. But I can look at Nolan, too. <laughs> I've been around. You know, <clears throat> I've been Nolan, around you're block. great. I've you know? been around the block. Thanks, Stevie. <laughs> I thought that was good. Did we do, uh, good uh, question, Danny. You're a great kid. You're a thinker. Keep it up. Go Augies. Yep. So another one from Chad Nightingale. Oh, sure. Can you control vulner- vulnerability? Trouble with that one. Can you control being vulnerable? A lot of big should, words yeah, here. Maybe you should for pre, the boys. maybe you should read through them a few times before you get going. Practice in front of the mirror and all. Uh, you can be, you can because uh, being vulnerable to something can be a choice, right? It's like anything. It's like a a skill that you can learn to have over time. I think. I think people get really difficult at being vulnerable to stuff because they see it as weakness, mm-hmm. right? Well, if I'm vulnerable, if I say I'm really bad. Or if I say that hurt my feelings or whatever it is, or saying, hey, I need help on this. That's usually the one that people aren't willing to do, right? They don't want to admit that they need help. So I think that once you can understand that you as an individual need help. Mm -hmm. Everyone does. It don't matter who you are. You need help. So let's get rid of that narrative of, oh, I don't need any help. Yes, you do. Work on the skill of asking for help. And when I started doing that, I know that changed for me when I was about 25 years old. Um, it kind of changed my life, honestly. Let's stop looking at everything as a competition. Yeah, yeah. So I, I was trying to turn yours on. I turned mine up a little bit there. So in short, how would you define what you just said to that question, like simplified? Ask it one more time. I'll, <laughs> try, I'll say it in less than 10 words. Can you control being vulnerable? Yes, you can. How'd I do there, Mark? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was really good. Well, I thought you had a lot of good points. I just was trying to see if they yeah. could get to a, I think a concrete you know, answer to it. My concrete answer is not only can you, but I think you should work at it as well. I think it should be a priority for you to work on that as a skill in your life. Yeah, I would say it's like an act of courage, right? Because it does take courage to get to a vulnerable state. Because vulnerability, to a degree, it's, it's one of those... I think we talked last week about fear, maybe about taking fear. Was that last week we talked about taking fear out in front of you, putting it behind you and letting it push you. Mm -hmm. So now it becomes like a driver. I would say it's very similar to vulnerability because now you look at it as vulnerability is a very peaceful place because it does take down the walls of the competition. It does take away like egotistical external things. So it's contentment, which would be, which would hopefully bring you a lot of happiness and joy and those sort of things. But at the same time, it's like, it's still extremely difficult. So you have to have courage to even put yourself in a position to be vulnerable, to reach the outcome of that, which would be, 
the contentment, which is a similar to like the fear analogy, right? Is well, fear <clears throat> is a good thing. It teaches us a lot and it puts a lot of things in front of us. But then if it lives out in front of you, then it paralyzes your life. Like same thing with vulnerability. Vulnerability is a good thing, but then at the same time, you know, it could be a bad thing, just like fear or whatever. So it's, you know, is it is vulnerability too far out of reach? Are you too afraid of it? Are you not sure what it'd be like? So then you run the puppet show all the time. You try to put up these walls and those sort of things. And you know, always, if you practice it, just slowly practice it. It doesn't have to happen today. It doesn't have to be some aha moment. Just slowly put yourself in positions minimally that expose you to vulnerability and then over time you'll build up some equity i would put this in the courage bucket if you will <clears throat> you'll build up some equity there to make more vulnerable moves and, and decisions as you move forward bam bam all right can you have courage without fear kind of piggybacking off what you wow just did said. that just uh that was that was completely the third question <laughs> that is wild that's wild. I guess I'll go first then, I suppose. Yeah, why don't you just keep going? Yeah, so what? So can you have courage without fear? Yeah. Uh, uh, ooh, that's a good question. I, I, I Initially, no. I think that everything works off everything. So just like just like everything, right? So if you, you eat bad, you think bad. If you think bad, you move bad. If you move bad, you sleep bad. You know, like all that could go back the other way. If you sleep bad, you, just think, you think bad. If you... Uh, sleep bad, you eat bad, all these sort of things. So everything is everything. So same thing with these powerful words, right? Like courage, fear, vulnerability, all these sort of things. I think they all kind of work together. They're all just your, they're all just your teachers, right? So it's <clears throat> fear is no matter what, it's inevitable. It's a part of the system. Like if we're, we're built to have fear, you know, but now fear, this is where we talk all the time about how there is your system was built off of fear. So we used to have to fear a lion like eating us. So that was put into our system. That's like your sympathetic nervous system. That's an autonomic thing. So that's like aggressively in you, right? That's not something that's, uh, it's, it's just happening. So there's a fear that no matter what is taking place, right? And that was put in place so that autonomically, autom auto automatically, when I saw the lion, I'd freeze and then I'd run. Right. And then now there is no like lion. Right. I mean, it's kind of weird how we flip flopped it. We put the lion in, in the cage. Right. Because we're just the smartest things on the planet. But that part of our system hasn't left. We still have a sympathetic nervous system. So if I see a, a comparison or I get scouted wrongly or I get told I failed that test or I have a test coming up or I don't know what college I'm going to go to, that part of your nervous system gets messed with. So you have those same sensations that we had back in the day. So now it would be how you perceive things, which is courage. And so you have to have the courage to know that, how do I know my feeling, which goes back to feeling and emotion. How do I know my feeling? Uh, how do I handle that feeling? How do I courageously move past it and then make a smart decision? Because sometimes you'll make a stupid decision and that's not courage. That's just stupidity, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I think how you define word. Like, we just use a lot of words on here. You know what I mean? It's just like... Yeah, they're just teachers they're just or like words, words or yeah. things. So for me, like, I'm sitting here and my initial thought is the same as yours, right? Okay, you have to be fearful to be courageous. But then I start just inserting a new word instead of fear, right? So like nervous. I can be nervous and get over that nervousness and be courageous. So I yeah. think it's just anything that challenges you is a courageous act to you. Right. And then as individuals, if we want to have a good relationship with somebody, we need to understand what a courageous act is to them. Mm -hmm. You know, some people do crazy things that aren't necessarily courageous because it's not within them to be nervous or feel thrill about that thing. They might enjoy it. It might be something that they enjoy doing. So for us, it's understanding what are each individual person's battle and then celebrating when they are courageous against that battle because mm. everyone's battle's different right heck i know i've had some i had a battle with hair loss that was a tough one on me wasn't it marty oh, i had to work through that one for a while it's about to be tough on me That's yeah you're coming up the to. barrel here soon <laughs> oh no, I'm right good. but hey well i don't know i don't know folks but hey i took that razor out 
shave my head. That was a courageous act to me. Okay. Now, maybe for somebody else, another courageous act was doing the high ropes course in Ohio. I was paralyzed with fear of that. And I did it. So that's a courageous act. So to me, it's each individual needs to identify what makes them nervous, what makes them fearful, what makes them anxious, what makes them uncomfortable in general, and then go attack that. And whatever that is, that is courageous for you to attack that. Yeah. Nicely put. Mm-hmm. And and bald is beautiful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'll get to the next question. <laughs> he's worried about He's fearful about it, folks. I'm fine. What I'm doing just fine. <laughs> What's something you do by yourself that you would stop doing if people knew every time you did it? <clears throat> do you hear it? You say it again. I mean, I can go for a while on this one. <laughs> What's something you do by yourself that you would stop doing if people knew every time you did it? <laughs> Dude, you know, it's a tough one on me is I have thought dead serious probably over a hundred times in my life that I've been on the Truman Show. I oh, have yeah. legitimately that checked freaks me out sometimes. a coffee maker for a camera before. And I think all the time I have been in my car and a song comes on. And at first, I'll, maybe I'll start singing it because I like to sing in the car. And I will have two seconds of fear and go, I might be on the Truman Show. And then I put on a show in the car by myself, singing songs, thinking that I am on the Truman Show. <laughs> then you flip it. Then I flip it. I'm like, well, you're performing now. Let's go. That's a tough one on me. I'm glad I admitted that one out loud. Yeah, I've had the Truman th- Show thought, but I guess it hasn't been like that. I've thought uh, this is kind of a way super negative. I don't really know if this answers the question, but I've had moments where I feel like it is the Truman Show, and then it trips me out, and then I'll and then I will imagine uh, uh, like sometimes you have to leave the the matrix of the social media. That sometimes is pretty trippy. You know, like you leave the, you leave, like when you go, when you go, I don't know if you guys have this or not, but whenever you go like hiking or whatever, what did I just do? What's today? Oh, today is Friday, of course. Uh, (laughs) What what did I, I just went hiking somewhere the other day, like a Tuesday or something. I can't remember what it was. I think it was Tuesday. I went hiking and uh, this happens to me every time. I don't think this answers the question, but. I put my phone away and I went for a hike and then I kind of took my shots, right? Because I was trying to do the whole like teaching about nature and sunset stuff. And then I left, I put my phone away. And for like 30 minutes, I was super, I felt I was like leaving the matrix. Like I was leaving the social media game because I wasn't with my phone and I just kept getting deeper into the woods. And then I get past that and I can enjoy it. <clears throat> Sometimes it takes me like a day when I go on a trip and go hiking or something, or I just completely leave the whatever the world of uh, connection is now. I don't know if that answers that. Does that answer that? No, it didn't. Mm-hmm. And um, <laughs> <laughs> kicking ice cubes under the fridge, mm-hmm. 50-50 shot that I pick up an ice cube, boom, kick that thing right underneath oh, there. Oh, yeah, so that's what we're going that's towards. I was thinking it was embarrassing, like how I get, I will get uh, wor- like freaked out on my own for a bit. No, like pretend you actually are on camera. Like for me, it, so if we're it's actually, early, So we're going with the Truman Show. Yeah, like sure. I, yeah, like I kick an ice cube under the fridge fifty percent of the time. I mean, I ain't bending down to pick that up. Okay, I would say then I'm gonna get in trouble from a lot of people here. Oh yeah, I'll I'll wear it. I'll wear it. Let it out. I get. I really do. Like, there's times where I like talking to people and I put on the the show. The oh. you know I do the whole bit and I I'm very active. I'm very um, what's it called extroverted, communicating those sort of things. And then there's a lot of times where I just see the phone. I think if people could see how many times I see my phone and go, <laughs> nope. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> I talk to myself in the mirror a lot. Wouldn't stop that. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't Maybe it would change the words a little bit. I'd change the words a little bit. Talk to myself in the mirror. Um, that's a pretty good I one. I kick stuff underneath the, underneath the counters a lot. Oh. Food, oh. little crumbs. Uh, what about just straight up? With it, the phone stuff, just lying to people. This was a Curb Your Enthusiasm bit the other day. I never got the text. Yeah. That was on the show the other day. Yeah. I have never got the text. 
Sorry, guys, if I did that to you. Sometimes I screw that one up too. Sometimes we really, sometimes I, we really don't see the text though. Sometimes we don't. Sometimes we open it up. Maybe we're in a, forget, a busy place and forget, forget that's real. That one happens a lot. That one where you know you can't respond at the time. You're like, oh, I'll just, I'll just respond later today, and then you forget like four weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Me working on the pool in the backyard by myself, and some of the things I say out loud. So you're a big talker. You're an active talker. Oh yeah. So people shouldn't hear what you're saying when you're on your own. No, <laughs> no, not at all. I'm trying to think of all these little things that I do. Oh, going back for like another, like if I'm actively bringing in all those desserts into mash, because if those stay here, I will you're eat eating. seven of those tonight. Are those cookies still at mash? Yeah, I think so. We're, I'm, I got Mart. I got three more things of brownies over there. I'm bringing in. Oh man. Oh yeah. I'll put them in the fridge. Too. Let's go. I love them. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I'm drawing a blank. I think I'm blanked out. Was that all our questions? That was four. Can we also answer things that we wish people could see us do, but it was authentic? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, like, I'm not embarrassed. I, I sing and dance a lot mm-hmm. on my own. I think it's super important that people do that. I, I hope that people listening to this do this more often. You're by yourself. You're in the kitchen. You have to cook something and you don't want to do it. Bump some tunes. See what happens. Dance around a little bit. No shame. And if you do it, text me about it. I don't know, Let me why. know how it went. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I don't have the fish oils in me the last couple of days. But I cannot. I'm not thinking of anything. Well, Mark, you're maybe a heck you're of a hitting, guy. but no, you know, I'm. I mean, I do a bunch of stupid <laughs> stuff all the time. I don't know. <laughs> you know, I just do stupid stuff. I mean, that, that's such a that question is. For the most part, everyone's doing stupid, stupid shit all the time. Oh, yeah. So it's like, you know, I mean, it's like, I guess my answer to it would be when you're not with me, anything that I'm doing alone is probably considered stupid to you. You know, like, that's what I'd have to imagine. Mark's <laughs> answer is everything. <laughs> like, it has to be everything. I can't think of, like, I, like you're sitting there and I, I've thought of so many times where I'm dancing by myself, making oh, yeah. dinner. I would imagine you would probably think that that's funny. I mean, we have a huge, I walk around the house naked a lot, you know? I watch cartoons by myself sometimes yeah. for like six minutes. <laughs> little kid cartoons. Like little kid cartoons. Like yeah. Paw Patrol. I'll watch that. I'll throw that on for six minutes just to go, everything's all right. <laughs> one time I practiced, okay. <laughs> one time I practiced an entire speech uh, in a mirror and it had to be a half hour and I would, pra- I had three segments to the speech. And one time I didn't get through the first segment of the speech. I tried it three times. And I talked about the first segment. Every time I looked at the clock, I'd think to myself like five, 10 minutes. It had been 35 minutes <laughs> that I hadn't got past the first segment. And I'd just been talking on one thing and I would swear at myself, you know, <laughs> like that would have been pretty funny to watch. You probably would have made fun of me. When I watch HGTV, I take mental notes as if I'm studying for my future home. <laughs> I do that too, all the time. <laughs> I do that too. I do that too. I'm I like, watch beams. Oh, yep, yep, that's good. I watch. Good move. I watch documentaries all the time. I go. I, I would do it better than that. I would do this one better. Which the number one there? That's how we'll end it. Number one documentary that you've watched that you went not tough at all. I could do that easy, and you you thought that for real. Oh wow. Please don't say free solo. No, that was like, well. I was thinking to myself, do I have a joke and say free solo? Mm-hmm. As first, I just watched that again the other day, uh, jaw dropping. And then the other, there's another one that puts in perspective of he goes with nothing on him. Did you guys see the other one? With there's another really good uh, documentary of a climber, but he's tied in the whole time. Mm-hmm. Cal Caldway, I think his name was. Uh, did you guys watch the West Side Barbell documentary of Louis? Yes, I did. That's pretty. What did you think about that? I mean, I think it's, I think it's wild. It's wild. I mean, I, <laughs> I mean, it's wild. Anyone who wants to watch something and actually buy it, do it and be amazed. Think about you going to the gym and working out and then picture how old these guys are and what they're doing. It's absolutely insane. Yeah. So even I've, our strength coaches were amazed by that. That's when I knew I had to watch it. So I want to have a documentary like that one, but I don't have to be, I don't want to be like them. I would just want to have a documentary. I think that a documentary would be like that. Like you would watch how we formulate things, how we think about performance, how we think about human behavior, thinking, physical. I think that if if we were documenting our days like that, or if we told a story, I think that we'd have a sick story like that. Final question. If you were to be able, and maybe one day, hey, hopefully one day, somebody does it out of pure 
it's that interesting. But right now, how much would you be willing to pay someone to have your own documentary made of you and like your journey and you have guest speakers, the whole bit, the whole the whole thing. Like, uh, how like much a of a loan would you be willing to like take? Like a long came Polly? No, like <laughs> You've seen that movie yeah, with yeah. the guy at a long came Polly who Remember he has he like is Kevin fake Hart's like first movie. Oh yeah, 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 fake, yeah, yeah, yeah. He does yeah. a fake e show. No, that's my dream. My dream is to have a documentary. That's what I ultimately want. How much would you pay right now if somebody could do it right now? Uh, and I get to eat and, and sleep and stuff. I would pay everything I have. You if get some, to eat and sleep. Like I'm saying, if some if I could if I could just do that, and on the back end of it, hope that it was sell. I would just do that. No, just for pure enjoyment. Oh, for just, <laughs> just for pure, buddies? Yeah, just for you can watch it. <laughs> uh, I don't, I wouldn't care. <laughs> really? I wouldn't do it. Yeah, no, I wouldn't do it if I was just watching it. Well, your buddies can watch it. I'm living it. Well, all my buddies would just think it's, they would, they do it with me anyways. 2,500 for me. 20, if anyone's willing to do it. <laughs> yeah, 20, I'll do it for 25 bucks then. There you go. There you go. Deal. Cheers. Cheers. Stop kicking the ice cubes under the sink. <laughs> yeah, cheers. <laughs>